it can totally change and everybody's perception is different and we all have our own lens in the world. Focusing on the good qualities about herself because whatever we focus on grows. The only person that decides your destiny is you and that really stems down to do you think you deserve it or not? Do you think you're worthy enough? Do you think you're capable enough? So having a high self Hey guys, welcome to Self Care Sundays with Sophia, where we talk about self love, self growth, and everything in between. Today's video, I want to talk all about self concept, what it means, and how you can improve your self concept. So, that word, my cousin just randomly said that to me a couple weeks ago. Um, I was telling her a story about a friend of mine who something really great that happened to her, and it was just kind of one of those like, wow, like good for her, but how did she attract that? You know, we were just kind of talking about that type of vibe, certain people that things just kind of flow to them. And my cousin said, she's got a high self-concept. And I'm like, huh, that's a word that I want to look into a little bit more. So basically it kind of just is a combination of self-esteem and self-confidence, but self-concept is more based on fact rather than an opinion or like a biased judgment. It's not like like it's a little bit more factual. Like for example, I'm a Canadian. Yes, I am a Canadian, I live in Canada. You know what I mean? So, uh, but then what's the line between opinion and fact, right? So I could say I'm a good person, but then I could also say I'm a bad person and believe it, as long as I look for facts to support that evidence. So yeah, I found it kind of a fun topic to explore and a goal of mine is just to really improve my self-concept. I do believe I have a pretty generally healthy self-concept, but it could always be better. I could always attract more and think higher of myself and focus on more of the positive things about myself. I think we all can. Everybody, I don't think there's anybody out there who's 100% confident um, in a healthy way that's not cocky, you know? So let's enjoy exploring this topic today and get a little bit more into it. So I Googled the definition of self-concept and what came up was a collection of beliefs about oneself, generally answering the question, who am I? And it's a combination of facts that make up your identity. So I feel like if we could just write down a list, a bullet point of all the things that make you you, it could go really great or really bad, depending on how your self-concept is at the moment or generally. And before when I said self-concept is more of a fact thing, that kind of makes it seem like your self-concept can change. But yes, your self-concept can change. Before I said how I'm a Canadian. Well, one day if I move to Germany, I might sort of identify more as um, a German, you know? So your concept can change and different levels of your life. Let's say I become a mother. Okay, I'm a mother. Um, I have great morals. Maybe one day if I were to go down a weird path, Maybe my self-concept would be that I don't have great morals. It can totally change and everybody's perception is different and we all have our own lens in the world. And because other people have their own version of their, their own perception of how the world works, they have, everybody has a, a lens that is unique to them based on their life experiences, their traumas. So when somebody else doesn't have a great concept of you or they, their idea of you isn't positive, knowing not to take their opinion too seriously is so important because what makes them right, right? So being able to have a healthy self-concept and knowing that the only opinion matters is the opinion you have of yourself. So like I was saying, the difference between self-concept and self-esteem is self-concept is more based on facts, whereas self-esteem is more of a statement that has a judgment or it's like an opinion. And what's the line between fact or opinion? Cause we all have different perceptions. One thing I will say that we can do is focusing on the good qualities about herself because whatever we focus on grows. And if you're constantly focusing on the bad qualities about yourself, eventually you're gonna create a self-fulfilling prophecy. And if you just start looking for things that prove the theory that I'm a bad person, you're eventually gonna become a bad person because those things are gonna be more prominent. And yeah, it, you've created this belief that I'm a bad person, so you're gonna start acting more like a bad person. So that's such a general one, but I could have a ton of 
facts to support that I'm a good person, but I could also have things that make me a bad person. And if I were to focus on that, that's going to grow. So focusing on the good qualities that make me me is just going to make that expand more. So self-concept is based mainly on self-esteem and self-confidence, which is your belief in your ability to do something or get something done. Do you believe that you have the knowledge, the tools and the skills to get this thing done? And also just your perception of overall who you are as a person. I really feel like when I think of self-concept, I really like what I just said is, um, do I believe in my ability to get this thing done? Do I believe that I have the skills to do this? Do I believe in myself essentially? The, the concept that I have of me, it's always hard when you're going through a life experience and I always try to step outside and watch myself as if I'm an outsider. You know how it's so easy to give our friends advice because we're on the outside and we can see them doing it. I feel like I'm very self-aware, but it's also really hard when you're feeling the emotions and you're going through whatever it is you're going through. It's hard to step outside and look at yourself. So having that self-concept is very important to help you navigate through life. Do I think I can get this done? Do I think that I'm worthy of this? Do I think that I'm smart enough for this? It's gonna, it'll determine how far you go in life because let's say I had a life where I was given all these opportunities, but I didn't believe that I had the tools or I didn't believe that I was worthy enough to actually do these things. Well, I'm never gonna get to use those. And then there's other people that have the confidence of like Kanye West, obviously his self-concept is, you know, he thinks that he's, this great, he was this chosen one to change the world or do you know what I mean? So people like that, that really believe that they are here for a reason and that they have these superpowers, they do kind of go far in life because their self-confidence, the sky is the limit for them. Whereas the people that are given all these opportunities and they don't go with it because they don't think of themselves as somebody that's capable or worthy of that, how far are you gonna get in life? So having a self-concept is everything when it comes to your life and how much you're going to experience, how happy you're going to be. My goal is to just to believe that I am the most capable person ever. I want my confidence to be on point so that I can move forward and have the balls to do fun things in life. I've been feeling so weird for the last few weeks. I'm at a point where I just I'm ready for change. I want to welcome in the new and wash away the old. I feel like I'm kind of going through spring cleaning, which is so fitting right now because it is spring. All the cherry blossoms are out. I just organized two of my storage rooms, so I'm feeling really replenished and fresh. However, I just want to have the confidence to do try new things in life and move forward and live my best life possible. So I put together a few tips, well, just three tips on how you can improve your self-esteem, self-confidence, and your overall self-concept. So the first one is finding your tribe, making sure that the people around you are your biggest supporters, you feel safe around them, you know that they believe in you. It's really important to be around uplifting people that you feel safe around because it's kind of one of our human needs is to feel like we have a tribe. It goes back to caveman days. Social acceptance is one of the core values of what we need for survival mode. It goes back to literally like being in packs. If you were on your own, you wouldn't be able to get food or shelter. You needed a team to help you and move along. So whether that's family, friends, even people that you work out with, or even people that you work with, just making sure that you have a team that you feel safe in and you feel like you're not in this alone because essentially we all are kind of alone we you know we come to this earth alone we leave alone but at the end of the day we're all in this together and everybody has their own journey so just being kind to others and feeling like you have a safe team and good people around you is so important for your self-concept the second one this one's huge it's having self-compassion so basically just speaking to yourself as if you were a child or somebody that you loved being very easy on yourself and not putting yourself down. If you fail at something, having compassion and being like, you know what, I tried my best. I'm gonna take this lesson and I'm gonna move forward. Or if you need to cry, allowing yourself to cry and not putting yourself down for feeling sad about something. Emotions are totally valid. Emotions are important. They are what help us guide our way through life and emotions tell us a lot about what we need to know. So. If we're sad about something, don't be hard on yourself. Let yourself feel it, ride it, get through it, 
and just be very kind to yourself because if you're not gonna be kind to yourself, who else is? Just being your biggest cheerleader, essentially. So the third one is stopping negative self-talk as soon as it comes. Get in the habit of immediately, nope, I'm not going there and replacing it with positive self-talk. The way you speak to yourself is so, so important because the things that you're consciously saying to yourself, it's running in the background all day. Millions of messages, it's like a computer wiring program. So you have to program your subconscious mind to think positive things about yourself whether that's journaling, affirmations, whatever you need to do to stop that negative self-talk. And back to tip number two is having compassion for yourself. If you wanna put yourself down, don't be your own bully. You have to be your own biggest cheerleader. So those three tips, I feel like they're very simple but basic. Just start with that. If you wanna improve your self-concept, make sure that you find your tribe, have self-compassion, and quiet the self-negative talk. Okay, next I'm gonna give you a journaling activity. What I want you to do is just challenge yourself to write an entire paragraph, everything, your entire self-concept. So title it self-concept and say everything about yourself that are facts. And these can also be things that are opinions, but to you, it's a fact. You can find evidence to support those things. For example, if you want to say that I am a good friend, if you need to write the reasons why, like I'm a good friend because I do X, Y, and Z, there you go. So write an entire page or two or three, whatever your heart desires, your entire self-concept. And I want to challenge you to make it all positive. Write it in the way that almost like a resume, or if you're trying to convince somebody to date you or be your friend, write down everything about yourself, whether that's hobbies, things that you morally align with, just describing all of your personality traits, what you enjoy doing, everything about you and what makes you you. I just find it really inspiring people that have really high self-concept and it's like, it just makes me curious, like, wow, did you have like the perfect childhood or like, how did you get yourself there? I'm not gonna lie, there are some people that are blessed enough to just have a high self-concept because yeah, they probably had a pretty smooth sailing life, you know, maybe not a lot, happen to them and they're just generally feel good about themselves but you know what majority of people don't have that so we're gonna work on ourselves and make sure we lift our self-concept because life is all about perception the only person that decides your destiny is you and that really stems down to do you think you deserve it or not do you think you're worthy enough do you think you're capable enough so having a high self-concept is so important because Let's say somebody somebody offered me a job to be the CEO of some massive mega company and they literally said, you're perfect for the job. Um, here it is, I'm going to give it to you. Do you wanna start training on Monday? I could sit there and be like, okay, well, I didn't go to school for that. I've never done anything like that. Running a whole company, I don't know if I could do that. I could screw myself out of a huge opportunity. But what makes this person believe that I can do this job? Obviously they see something in me that I don't so I'm basically just screwing myself by not accepting it or maybe I accept it, but I, I get really insecure because I, I don't think I'm worthy. And then they do, but then eventually they're like, okay, well, if you don't see what I see, then what's the point? Because I'll just, I'll have to find somebody that's motivated enough and believes in themselves enough to run this company. I'm, I'm, I'm saying for real, like if somebody did offer me a job like that, I would be confused for sure because I've never run a company before. However, I would like to think that I'd be open to giving it a shot and giving it my all and trying to convince myself, yeah, you know what? If they believe that I can do this and they're willing to train me and they're willing to get me to that spot, why would I not take it? That's why I wanna have the self-concept of Kanye West is really just like knowing that you are so special, you're this chosen one, there's nobody in the world like you, just having this, almost crazy like confidence to a point that's healthy. But my point is believing in yourself and seeing what other people see in you and not being confused when somebody likes you or thinks highly of you. <laughs> it sounds crazy to say, but I'm sorry, we're human. Like whether it's trauma or life experiences, we all have things that hold us back and gives us limited thinking. But I really want to erase all limited thoughts. I want to think that the sky is the limit. I can live my best life. I deserve to live my best life. I am talented. I have the skills. I am very, very capable. So what for what I'm going to do personally is just 
be very, very conscious of my thoughts and work on journaling more. I'm going, I've been meditating in this, in the sauna. And so instead of letting all these racing thoughts go, I'm just going to slow down and continue to remind myself the positive things and really just focus on the things that I do want to grow. I want to be successful. I want, okay. I want to be more successful. I want to be more fit. I want to be more, I want to travel more. I want more romance. I want more life experiences. So for me, I'm going to focus on those areas in my life that are thriving. So I have a form of those in my life right now. So what I'm going to do is focus on that and be grateful for it. The universe responds to gratitude. So if you're grateful for something, it's going to grow. It's like, for example, when you give something to somebody or you open the door for somebody even, and they give you a very genuine thank you. That's so kind of you. It gives you that warm feeling and it inspires you to kind of do it again because you want to get that feel good about that again. So the universe does the exact same thing. So being very grateful when something works in your favor is so powerful because you're going to attract more of that. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed this topic and I hope I've inspired you to raise your self concept because you're the best, you deserve the best, and it's all up to you if you believe it or not. Thank you so much for watching Self Care Sundays with Sophia. I'm Sophia Pearson. You can find me on all my social medias at Sophia Pearson. Bye. We'll see you guys next time.